Hello guys, it's me here. So welcome to my tutorial on Tekken 7. Now, if you haven't gotten Tekken 7 already, it is out on PC, PS4 and Xbox One. The only, thing, the only console is not out it, it's not out on is probably the Nintendo Switch at least when I was playing it it was out then. Okay, so Tekken 7 is a 3D fighting game and I am not gonna lie, it is pretty complex for a fighting game and there's not exactly an easy way to get into it but uh, as you know it might not be as as hard as you imagine and which is why I kind of put this tutorial together and yes if you look at the top right corner that is my PlayStation ID so you can catch me with the ID if you ever seen me online. Alright, so before we actually begin, let's go to practice mode. Now, I will say this, you do not need any sort of fight stick to play this game. You can play this game perfectly fine on a controller, like a PS4 controller, an Xbox One controller, a keyboard, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can, just, you can play the game just fine. Sure, if you, if you have an arcade stick, it might feel better. Some people prefer it, but don't, don't be put off. Alright, so as you can see here, you can select which side to start on. It doesn't really matter because chances are you will have to learn. No, not chances are, you will have to learn how to fight on both sides. But we'll just stick with the left side first. And whoa! Okay, so here is the first hurdle you have to go over. Which character do you select? Uh, and the answer to that is select whoever you like. Literally. It doesn't matter, like, whatever dumb reason you have for selecting a character, just just choose one character and stick with it. There's no point in, you know, trying and say, oh, the moves are kind of too cool, no, no, no. No, choose a character, for whatever reason, and stick with it. So you can be like, oh, I happen to like Eliza because she has, she's a vampire and she looks kind of cute, and just like, <clears throat> and stuff. It's like, oh, or like, oh, I, I came from Street Fighter, or I like Akuma, or something. Or maybe like, mm, I was like, oh, I did my research, and the voice actor of Lars is actually the same voice actor as, you know, Archer from Fantasy Night. Or like, I really, really like Maya Sakamoto, and so I'm going to pick Xiaoyu. It, it doesn't really matter, okay? It's like, the guy can represent a country, you know, speak a language that you like, you know, look like a bride, you, get, you like fast ratos. It, it, it doesn't really matter, okay? Just whatever superficial reason, or whatever reason you like, you have for choosing character, just pick that character and stick to it because that way you can learn, you can get to the important bits quicker. And if you feel that at a later point, at a, at a later stage that you feel like, oh, this character isn't really that right for me, then you can switch because at the very least you've gotten, you know, a really, really good idea of how how to play the game and not exactly how the character works. So, yeah. Uh, for the record, my waifu is Asuka, so I do like choosing her. She is like trash tier on the tier list, but I don't really care. I chose her because she looked nice, you know, and that's basically it really. She looked nice and I was like, oh, I like this girl, I'm gonna choose her. Okay, so once you've gotten your character down and you're in practice mode, you generally want to choose Xiaoyu because Xiaoyu is a. I think Xiaoyu is like the smallest character. In terms of hitbox, uh, what that basically means is that if your combo works on Xiao Yu, you're kind of guaranteed to have that combo work on everybody else. Uh, not because you know it's not Xiao Yu. And let's face it, if if you have this game or if if you're new to any fighting game, the first thing you want to learn is combos. So Xiao Yu is a very very good place to start to you know kind of test your combos. Okay, so before we actually get into the next part, I will uh, kind of get you familiar with your notations for this game because notations are a really, really great way for us and many other people to refer to moves without having to bite our tongues and, you know, without having things being uh, excessively long. Okay, so uh, there's two parts to it. There's one for movement and there's one for attack buttons. Uh, I have this pick 
this is a really great pick I found on the internet, and I'm just gonna show it to you guys. And uh, it is this. So I'm not gonna go too much, to get too much into it, but um, just note that forward, or in this case, right, is actually referring to forward, not right. So, so if your normally characters are on the left side and facing right, therefore their forward is right. But if you are playing on the right side and your character's forward is left, then forward will be left. And commands won't, commands won't change on the move list. They will assume that your character is on the left and facing right. Okay, so back to this. Alright, so there. So Tekken is a Tekken 7. In fact, any Tekken is like a 4 button fighter, except for tag, because it's an extra button for tag. Uh, it's a 4 button fighter and. Well, uh, yes, for attack buttons. Uh, they are left punch, right punch, left kick, and right kick, which you can see in this very, very, you know, convenient panel that has everything explained for us. There are two ways to refer to this as well. You can refer to by what the game gives you LP, RP, LK, RK, respectively, or you can refer to it as 1, 2, 3, and 4, like that. Okay, so 1 will be left punch. 2 will be right punch, 3 will be left kick, and 4 will be right kick. So it is it is a good idea to actually, you know, get used to these locations because well a lot of people use it and it really really saves a lot of time and effort. If you actually understand these and you know it's it's easier because you can you can throw two moves much more quickly. It's like there's a lot because it's everything else is unnecessary information. Okay, so I'll uh, keep it at that for for now, you know, and hopefully uh, get you guys kind of used to it. I'll, I will cover everything you need to you know get to a decent level, you know. Uh, just just do a level, level that you can have fun, and you know, and hopefully uh, it won't be. Hopefully it will show you that this game isn't as hard as some people want to make it out to be because those guys, chances are they're, they're gonna just troll, just trolling you and they don't really want you to play the game. You know, or, or they're really bad at the game and you know, stuff like that. So, don't be put off by how, how deep this game is. I will go through, go through everything slowly and you know, the whole point is just to have fun, right? So. And how to have fun, you know, in a fighting game, when matches are really, really close, that's when they're fun, that's when they're exciting. Not if they're, you know, all one-sided. If they're one-sided, they're just as fun as to the loser as well as the winner because th there's no challenge and yeah, it's like even if you like, win the first few rounds, if you become, if you become one-sided, it's, it's not really, it doesn't become fun, it, it's just boring because it's like the outcomes already determined before you even try it. Or it's like you don't even have to try it and it's like oh oh yeah, it's like the win is decided. So yeah. It's no, I will give it like that. Okay, everything else can come later. 